What's up guys, Tyler's X Gaming here, and I am bringing you a brand new video on the channel. And let me readjust my microphone here. Uh, so today guys, I uh, went ahead and bought Fallout, um, and I've been playing it for uh, quite a while, uh, but I just created a new account. Uh, because today, we are going to be doing a Doctor Who mod called Fallout Who Vegas. And this is going to be a series on my channel and a playlist, so uh, welcome to episode one. Um, so we just did our character creation. I haven't done anything uh, anything too crazy. And uh, yeah, we're going to just go ahead and get right into it. So uh, basically just made my character. Uh, a little bit of a backstory is just going to be some human. Um, uh, I guess he got a bullet stuck in his head in Fallout. And uh, instead of us uh, following the main storyline, I may do some uh, missions off recording or off channel uh, to uh, go ahead and uh, level up my character a little bit more. But um, we're going to be doing mainly Doctor Who stuff in this series. And uh, we're going to just go ahead and get right into it. So uh, uh, wait, before we get into it, if you guys have not already... Oh, uh, okay, we'll do that in a second. If you guys have not already... Make sure you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel um, and uh, turn on those uh, bell notifications that we guys don't miss any uploads, especially for this uh, series. And uh, I'll go ahead and leave a link to my Discord in the, uh, the, uh, the uh, description below so that you guys please feel free to uh, join my Discord if you guys would like. Uh, does he have anything? I hope he doesn't kill me for doing that. Hey, I just stole some of your Nuka-Cola, dude. Sorry. Um, I'm also going to be playing with a PS4 controller, um, because why the hell not? Um, uh, well, no, the main reason is because I don't have a mouse, but, I mean, the PS4 controller is still fun. Um, anyway, guys, so, uh, yeah, just, uh, leave a like on this video. Let me know in the comment section, uh, if you guys have any video requests. If you guys have any questions, let me know, and, uh, I'll be leaving a link to my Discord. Uh, in the channel, uh, that's where I do most of my stuff. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I don't really do um, a lot of uh, 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 replying and uh, you know, reading my comments. So if you guys really want to grab my attention, uh, just go ahead and join my Discord. Um, the link's always gonna be the same, no matter how old this video gets. Um, so yeah, and I'll have my link in the description. Uh, for every video on the series that I make so uh, hopefully we can uh, make this a really nice really long series and uh, sorry about the quality of the video guys uh, I had to lower the uh, the quality a little bit sacrifice a little bit of the quality for better frame rate um, I do not have the best computer in the world however it is a pretty good computer for what I got that got it for uh, go ahead and leave the uh, the uh, specs and computer model number that I have uh, in the description below. Um, this is for mid-level gaming. Uh, the computer I got, it's its nothing too big. It's just an HP notebook. Um, but it's actually not bad. So, I mean, frame rates aren't that bad. Um, I'm not going to lie. Uh, right before we get into this last thing, I promise. Um, I've actually played a little bit of the Doctor Who stuff. So, I kind of know how everything works. Um, I just did that so I'd be a little bit more equipped, um, and I wouldn't be standing there trying to figure something out for 20 minutes while you guys are watching me do absolutely nothing with my life. Um, so I got the basic stuff down. Um, I went ahead and deleted all those saves. This is a brand new game. Uh, if you guys check here, this is, uh, this is the game that I play off camera. Uh, just to screw around a little bit, this is the new one. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, we're gonna go ahead and start. And uh, there's a time fissure. If anybody doesn't know what Doctor Who is, uh, basically an alien from another planet. Um, Steel is a time machine slash spaceship. Um, and yeah, it just goes around saving people, hunting things, the family business. And uh, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. And uh, there's some quests and stuff along the way. Um, so uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so anyway, the backstory of our character, uh, his name's Michael, got the bullet in the head anyway, um, like I said earlier, we're not gonna be following the original storyline, where he goes and hunts his killers, and, you know, saves Fallout New Vegas, blah 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 blah, um, instead, uh, we're gonna be following the Doctor Who part of it, uh, just your average human is what he is, and, um, nothing, nothing else, uh, this is what our character is gonna go ahead and look like, um, sorry, I wish I could do this faster. So yeah, his name's Michael. 
Uh, he's got a standard vault suit. Uh, and we also have a Pit Boy mod installed. I don't know if you guys can tell this is different. This is River Song's uh, communicator. And uh, it's different. So, yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So, we're just going to leave his house and see uh, see where we go. And, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I do appreciate this. The Let's me know that uh, I'm doing pretty good, and believe it or not, guys, they really try. Oh, I really do. All right, radio signals found. We got a Doctor Who sounding noise, and uh, gonna walk out. Oh, we're frozen. Uh, I can't move. Uh, it's a little odd. Um. We may have to... Sometimes this part broke on me. Just gonna go ahead and go out here. And we're just gonna try this again. A lot of the times it'll freeze up on us. Um, yeah, I'll be constantly saving. Because this mod's not properly installed. Alright, there we go. Now it's working. Alright. I'll be reading all the dialogue and everything, that way everybody understands, but I'll read it as fast and as fluently as I possibly can, and then, uh, yeah. Oh, the classic TARDIS. Alright. Hello? Oh, uh, well, what, uh, what, how, what? Uh, g-g-ghost, uh, obviously ghosts wouldn't do that, so stop stammering. I'm here from the future. Time travel? Sharp, aren't you? We don't have a lot of time. Am I drunk? Oh, did I hit my head? Possibly, I have to check my 500-year diary. Who are you? That's a bit difficult to explain. Tab t uh, time travel is a funny thing. You see, I'm not just here from the future. I am your future. That is to say, I am you. My head hurts. Yes, I knew that would happen. I knew that because I'm you. You from the future. You sound like nothing like me. I didn't really think this through. Quick trip to... Uh, quick trip back to set things up. I am told myself. A bit of an if... Oh, listen. I would love to explain the finer concepts of cellular regeneration, but we don't have time. Yeah, this... Uh, I'd have to read a little faster because, you know... I don't believe a word of this. I am definitely dreaming. Yeah, I'm <laughs> Dream or not, I am here, you are there, and time is short. You must follow my next set of instructions to the letter, or you'll risk destroying reality itself. Of course, you can ignore me completely, go about your daily life picking at the shell of a dead world, trying to live, or you could do as I say, and really live. Travel to Gibson's Scrapyard. There you will find a blue box, just like this one. Take this key, it will unlock the door and let you in. The blue box, what is it? Yet another tick on the list of hard things to explain. Uh, that's yet another... Okay, you'd better be seeing for yourself. Alright, okay, what do I do at this blue box? I can't quite remember, it was a long time ago. Just follow your intuition, go with the flow. Oh, and here, take this. What a hollow tape. It's an ancient Gallifreyan control disc. Um... They used these in the temporal flight lectures back at the academy. It'll come in handy. On my way to what? Yes, uh, I really shouldn't say any more ca uh, causality and all that. It's time for me to go. Go where? Spoilers. It was nice talking to me again. Look after that head. It'll be mine one day. Okay. Uh, goodbye, TARDIS. Alright, uh, and now we just wait a second, and we'll get a cutscene, and uh, that's when everything starts. So, I uh, really hope you guys enjoy this series. I'm going to try and cut uh, a lot of the... Oh, I'm so tired. Ah, that's like the seventh time I've yawned in the past, like, what, five minutes? Um, anyway, I'm going to try to cut through a lot of the stupid stuff, and uh, hopefully we will, you won't have to deal with that. So, yeah. Okay, we're on the cutscene. Let's see. All right, we're going up. Heck yeah. Ugh. 
Let's do it. Okay. That was a nice introduction. Never would have expected that, except I already knew that was there. Uh, Alright, so now we have to go uh, down to... Oh my god, I know how this works, buddy. Okay, thank you. Um, come on. Allow me to go to the world map. Alright, so... Uh, nope, we already go to Good Springs. Alright, we would have to go all the way over there. Uh, however, that would take a very long time, so I'm going to go ahead and walk over there off screen, or off camera, and then, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, I'll go ahead and, uh, see you guys there, alright, so, bye, see you in a minute. Alrighty guys, we are back, and, uh, finally, finally made it to, uh, Gibson Scrapyard. Um, I went ahead and no-clipped all the way there. Um, unfortunately, you can't no-clip very fast. You only can no-clip about the speed that you can walk. So I only used it to get, like, over mountains and stuff, so I didn't have to walk around in them. But, uh, yeah, we, we, uh, made it to Gibson Scrapyard, and, uh, we are ready. So, uh, let's get into this. Um, I already know how to do the TARDIS, but I'm gonna go ahead and teach you guys. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, just do the, uh, tutorial. All right, we are entering the TARDIS for the first time. Here we go. Da 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 da. All right, let's see here. Oh, an authorized control disc has been detected. Voice interface activated. Ooh, a hologram. My form has been selected from a database of images you most esteem. Uh, it's bigger on the inside than the outside. The TARDIS is tri dimensionally transcendental. The interior dimensions are stabilized by a six-dimensional matrix mapped onto a four-dimensional threshold. These are the basics of Gallifreyan dimensional engineering. Why does it look like a police box? The Type 40 capsule has sustained prolonged neglect to a damaged chameleon circuit. The fault may be rectified by hot wiring the fragment links and superseding the binary circuits to a ratio of 1 to 4. Where did it come from? All TARDIS capsules are grown in the black hole shipyards of Gallifrey. This Type 40 capsule is an abs uh, outdated model and no longer within warranty. Black holes, shipyards, that must mean another planet. Gallifrey is situated at uh, 10 0 11 0 0 by 0 2 from the Galactic Circle Center. A police box that can travel in time. The TARDIS is capable of forward, backward, and sideways motion in the fourth dimension. And it can travel in space. The TARDIS is capable of motion along the 12 known axis of the third dimension. This Type 40 capsule has sustained pro prolonged neglect. Uh, to all primary navigation systems. Is anyone else here? Number of life forms detected on board. One. In the presence of an authorized control disc 23, this TARDIS relinquishes transfer of ownership to the holder. That's me? Correct. This authorized control disc also in initiates guidance protocols. Guidance protocols loaded. System report. All systems nominal, however, a fault has been detected with navigational systems. Advised repairs are made immediately to rectify faults. Do you wish to proceed with my assistance? All right. Guidance protocols revised. Guidance loaded. You will follow me. All right. So we're going to go up here. We're going to follow this guy. Do 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 do. Go deeper into the TARDIS. All right. The TARDIS interior is maintained via an architectural configuration system. Without a functional system, the ship's interior would collapse and cannot be accessed, save for the console room, which occupy orientation between constructs occurs through the ship's corridors. Due to the, uh, due to the ever-shifting internal structure of the TARDIS, levels can be traversed via anti-grav. Anti-grav operates on inertia and will propel occupants either upward or downward depending on their intended trajectory. Proceed down to the next level. Okay, here we go. Let's 
All right, we're going in here. All right. Architectural reconfiguration also allows TARDIS operators to program multiple room constructs. Allo uh, allocating a construct requires 5% of the capsule's power capacity. Deleting a construct restores 5% of the power capsule's power capacity. Uh, the Type 40 TARDIS capsule contains a library, workshop, additional, blah, blah, combination, and an extensive catalog, blah, blah. Each of these constructs can provide the operator with unique and differing functions. Proceed into the workshop. All right. You are currently situate, uh, situated in the workshop construct. This construct may be utilized for multiple engineering disciplines. The transdimensional engineering in this discipline of manipulating artron matter into raw materials. The temporal engineering is the discipline of refining raw materials into construction components. Uh, use of the aforementioned workstations can increase experience and gradually blah blah blah. Biochemistry and agricultural disciplines are also available to practice in the laboratory and garden constructs respectively. Please utilize the workstations uh, available to construct a TARDIS repair kit once complete. Return to the console room. Alright. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, I do not have any schematics. Now we have a schematic. Sonic screwdriver. Alright, well we have all that crap. All right, let's see. We need to build a TARDIS repair kit, which is three of each. All right. So. All right. So, oh, hold up. Dolicanium, let's see. Uh, we need exotronic circuitry and exotronic wiring. So we need one bazoolium, one chisilicate. All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and craft those real quick and uh, let's see what's this uh do 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 activate hypercube have you ever thought what it's like to be wandering in the fourth dimension to be exiled all right so what we're gonna go ahead and do is i'm gonna go ahead and skip uh to the uh the building that way we can go ahead and get that tardis repair kit uh so i'll see you guys in a minute What's up guys, I'm back, sorry about that, I went ahead and made, um, or, I'm sorry, uh, got the, uh, uh, the stuff that I need to build this TARDIS repair kit. So we're gonna come over here, uh, TARDIS repair kit, we have one, alright, TARDIS repair kit added, we're gonna run downstairs here, run in here, boink, 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 we're gonna run upstairs, Go ahead and take me up there. All right, oh, that is the wrong way. All right, and we are going to return to the control room and walk down the staircase and walk down the staircase again. All right, the Type 40 capsule currently operates on outdated protocols. Primary systems uh, must be maintained regular to ensure capsule's performance is optimal. There are four primary systems within the capsule's registry. Architectural reconfiguration regulates internal constructs and interior dimensional stability. Navigations regulate this capsule's travel capabilities in both third and fourth dimensions. Communications regulate exterior scanning capabilities, including radio wave signals, uh, signals and proximity sensors. Life support regulates interior environmental stability. And... Gallifreyan life forms and those with similar uh, physiologies will not be able to survive within this capsule unaided by survival equipment. Emergency equipment can be found in all construct maintenance hatches. To maintain primary systems, manual or automatic repair is required. Manual repair is performed via the control maintenance hatches, which can be found below the central console. Uh, there are two approaches to manual repair. Come on. TARDIS uh, repair kits can be produced via workshop construct and be applied directly to the damaged primary system, blah, blah, blah. Uh, patch repairs can be made only when primary systems are operational but suffering damage and will provide... Hmm, warning, it is advised that patch repairs are performed only by experienced temporal engineers. Uh, auto repair will perform a complete system shutdown with the intention of restoring all primary systems. Oh my god. The capsule must be occupant free during com uh, during complete system shutdown to begin the process. The voice interface has exhausted all knowledge on systems maintenance. The, uh, to restore functionality to the navigation system, please utilize the TARDIS repair kit. Okay. 
So I'd assume that, let's see. Ah! I don't know what the hell a universal detector is, but we have uh, two space, so if we lose oxygen, I would assume that's how that works. Make repairs to the TARDIS. Use TARDIS repair kit. Repair navigational systems. All right. Seems that we are down there with a blowtorch of some sort. Repairing the ship. Do 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 do. All right. Now that that's done, it's the bottle. Activate Encyclopedia Gallifreya. A strange bottle. Nothing happens. Okay. All right. Oh. The TARDIS is capable of spatial transference by dematerializing in one location and rematerializing in another. Utilize this space-time vortex and anchor Time Lord artifact between the third... Travel anywhere in the known universe. This specific capsule is programmed with three distinct flight modes. Spatial randomizer allows TARDIS to randomly seek out and rematerialize that local spatial... Oh my god. Program flight allows the TARDIS to rematerialize... Uh, blah blah blah. Accessible through the Gihon Soul Scanner. Drift mode allows the TARDIS to enter orbit and compromise or er, compri uh, comprises of two sub modes. It is advanced. Uh, the operator seek additional advice from the TARDIS index file. I'm sorry, guys. I can't read today. During flight, this capsule is capable of sustaining automatic or manual piloting. Um, automatic piloting will operate the TARDIS within a limited speed capacity. Manual piloting, however, will allow the operator to alter third dimension vectors, increasing and de uh, decreasing propagation. Manually controlling a TARDIS capsule requires dexterity. During flight, the context-sensitive response system will prompt an, uh, an operator with the necessary control feedback required to stabilize flight. If no input is detected, flight protocols will fail, and hyperdimensional forces will cause damage to the capsule shield oscillators. And maybe substance capsule integrity is divided between two plasmic entities. The Type 40 capsule hull integrity consists of a lattice weave plasmic shell. Unlike the shield oscillators, once damaged, hull integrity can only be restored via maintenance and auto repair. Total plasmic disintegration will occur if hull integrity reaches zero. However, early warning alert mechanisms such as the cloister bell will trigger if integrity drops below 25%. The Type 40 capsule shield oscillator can absorb any external energy, uh, be it temporal, inertial, or metal physical. Whilst functional, the shield oscillator will gradually regenerate at a rate of 1% every micro spans. Uh, the at shield oscillator failure primary systems will begin to take damage. Uh, use of flight systems can increase operator experience and gradually unlock advanced mechanisms and features. This voice interface has exhausted all knowledge on flight systems. Calibration is required. Please dematerialize by initiating flight randomizer as instructed via the context-sensitive response hollow markers. Further instruction provided upon successful completion of the calibrati uh, calibration flight. All right. All right. Activate zigzag plotter. Prime the helmet regulator. We're gonna do a maximum warp. Uh, locking down mechanism and that. All right. And we're gonna turn on autopilot so we can earn some some things here. Really? It wouldn't let me hit that. Alright. We're gonna go around the TARDIS here, and we're gonna hit this. Alright, we did it. Alright, and he's at the door again. Calibration complete. The TARDIS has rematerialized at a new spatial location. It is advised that before exiting, the operator is aware of any environmental hazards beyond their safety parameter of the capsule. Unfortunately, the specific capsule has no functioning environmental scanners. Guidance complete. Authorized control disk has expired. Transfer of ownership is complete. You are now symbiotically linked with the TARDIS. For further information on technical specifications or functionality, to refer to the TARDIS index file located on the central console scanner. Please state any final queries. Uh, we ha where have we landed? The specific cancel has no functioning environmental scanners. Uh, symbiotically linked. The TARDIS emits a low-intensity telepathic field that will symbolically 
uh, symbiotically uh, bind operator and capsule the operator and capsule symbiotic link is essential for operation what do I do next flight data in deep memory indicates this is uh, that this specific capsule traveled to many locations with many occupants there is no further information no more queries program end advanced mode has been deactivated okay oh look at that all right quest completed unto the future um, real quick before we do anything uh, I want to check our power gauges 2550 uh, let's see 2550 60 70 75 80 595 100 okay we got 100% power what I want to go ahead and do is we're gonna go to our uh, architectural reconfiguration and we're gonna change the primary console room to something more new that's what I'm talking about right there all right guys so uh, then we'll go ahead and uh, see what we have to do um, let's see can we activate a uh, navcom mode you lack the necessary skills to control this okay so it seems like we're just gonna activate this and uh, go around and we're gonna do activate locking down mechanism flight I go over here and turn off autopilot and uh, we're gonna see if we can get some uh, so flight oh my god okay i probably shouldn't be doing fast pace to work wait i'm a piloting level two not bad not bad all right oh my god why is everything exploding okay oof whoa okay we have a ringing phone A ticket for one to you world where every day is Christmas Day. All right. Uh, am I? No. Okay. Let's see here. Seems to be it. Fizzy rolled for a little festive cheer. Alright, um. Well, I think I'm gonna end it here, guys, and we will start. Um. We will start the mission. Um. Next episode. So, thanks for tuning in to, uh, episode one. And, uh, if you guys, uh, have any questions, any comments, wanna join the Discord, it will all be in the description below. And uh, do not forget nor hesitate to let me know what's going on in the comment section below. And uh, until next time, guys, this is Shadow Racer X8 signing off.